Hi there, my shopping friends. I have been so busy going to the bins this week and I haven't been making any videos, so I don't even know where to start. I've got three of them that I need to do, and this one that I'm going to do here is um, uh, from late last week, and um, I've run comps on everything. The problem is, is I'm not sure what's all in there, so... Um, why don't we get this rolling and I'll show you what I got and somewhere I'll find a receipt too that will tell me how much I spent. Um, I've got sparkles and uh, this is the one where I said that I had uh, uh, gotten a really awesome bag and I'll show you this. This is a to me bag and um, I came up with a couple of different, um, it's the large double zip carry-all, and I'm not sure if it's the, uh, um, I think it's from the Sinclair series, and really beyond that I don't know much, um, but it's leather, and um, it shows a little bit of wear, right, as you can see right in, on the, right there, and then again um, on the, the straps, but Boy, that doesn't bother me in the least. <laughs> so the retail on this bag is somewhere in the $500 range. Um, new. Without the patina. <laughs> so that's that. And uh, let's get moving with some of the textiles. This dress is a white cotton eyelet piece. Um, it's from H&M. Uh, so I seriously doubt that it was very pricey to start with. It has a side zipper close and um, a tiered hemline. I feel like I want to go frolic. <laughs> but it's awfully cute. Um, and I was really surprised and happy to find that it fit me. <laughs> um, and then this kind of just made sort of a, I don't know, I thought it kind of went with the whole bohemian, uh, I don't know, running through the flowers vibe. <laughs> so this is cashmere. And it has one hole in it that I need to repair, but other than that, it's in beautiful, excellent condition. Um, it's from uh, a Charter Club, I believe, but I just kind of liked this whole boho look here with the white eyelet. Um, there's a second cardigan that I got as well, and this is from Free People, and it's this nubby fabrication. So I like a long cardi over um, maxi dresses. I like the length, the ratio on the length. And this has got an asymmetrical hemline. Let's see if I can move this a bit so that I don't have to scoot so far back. There we go. And this has a well, the cl a closure that starts right about here and, and goes down. So you can see that. I'm really happy with this address. I have a weak spot for this kind of stuff to start with. And so, okay, we're looking now at another, um, overall lace dress. This one is from J. Crew, and I think it's supposed to be a bit more fitted than what it is because it's got a zipper on the side and um, I can just pull it on without unzipping it. But I just think it's really sweet um, the, with the knee length fit and the, the sleeve detail. It's a cotton They're like flamenco sleeves. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I just had to show you these. Doesn't everybody need some sparkly sequin pants in their wardrobe? These are, um, I think these are a girl's size, not a woman's size. Um, but they fit. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened. They're a little bit poogy, right? And through here. Um, but I really like them and I figured, oh heck, I can make these work. So <laughs> if I had like some high heels on or something and uh, the, my thought was to dress them down with a t-shirt and this t-shirt is, um, as you can see, it has a side knot here and this is from um, Athleta. So I think I kind of want to do this, but see the, I don't know. I'm going to figure out how to make them work. Just not right this moment. <laughs> See, they've got lots of room. They're just pretty. <laughs> oh, the brand um, is Art Class. Alrighty. This is a romper. And this is from Kimchi Blue. And I have to say, I really like it from here to here. <laughs> because this is where you can't see how short it is. <laughs> it is really too short for me to wear anywhere, unless maybe I wore it with this sweater, which I decided kind of calms it all down. You know, so I think I could do this. What do you think? On its own, it's just too much. It's too short and too full. Um, and and too young but I think with this sweater which we already saw it's very very comfortable and I love the print isn't that cute so let's see here how this looks Now, I would wear this, actually, if we were going to go somewhere someday. <laughs> Honestly, we don't go anywhere anymore. And this is just from, um, I think, ASOS. And the brand is Collision. And it's just a ribbed knit, off-the-shoulder top. I don't know what it looks like from here. It's really comfortable and easy to wear, really, for something that's uh, pretty much a bodycon dress. Um, uh, every time I put it on, I'm kind of amazed at how easy it is and how it just works. It's just, and you know, it was like a $19 dress. Very inexpensive. Okay, this is from a shirt. Uh, the shirt is from a brand that's called Cotton. And uh, I don't know what else to say about it other than it is really super nice, whatever it is. I guess it's cotton. <laughs> but I think that's the brand of it. And then these are Urban Outfitter Boy Cut Button Fly Jeans that I really, I really, really like. I like the fit. I like everything about them. So these were pretty good find. And I'm going to pair them up here real quick. Let's see how this goes, okay? This is um, from Spiritual Gangster. And um, it's referred to as the Golden State uh, sweatshirt. And it retailed for... Um, oh, I'm going to have to look that up. But it's cropped. Um... The cotton t-shirt, from what I could see, was $65. Um, the uh, Spiritual Gangster sweatshirt is $69. I love this look. This is what this is what you would wear pretty much a good part of the summer here. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the sun has decided to come out today, but prior to this, it's just been raining and raining and raining and raining. <laughs> so, we're doing t shirts and sweatshirts. Uh, this is Cynthia Rowley. Um, 
just a basic tank, navy blue. And this is a Zella sweatshirt. And I'm kind of really liking this light blue color this year. Um, I would have liked this, I think, to have a bit of a looser fit. But um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's nice with these shorts. They're hanging out. <laughs> Got a couple other t-shirts. Um, I think I'll pair that one up. Some of these I think I'll just show you. I'll put them on. Um, I got this great shower curtain that, um, let's see if I can show it to you. It's like um, sort of a linen fabrication with this watercolor print. So pretty. So I can't wait to get that all um, put up and uh, yeah, so onward. Now this did better than I thought it was going to. At first I thought, I wasn't really sure what it was. I thought maybe it was pajamas. Let me see what I can get here. But what it actually is, is a swimsuit cover-up. And it's from um, a brand that's called Profile Blush, or Blush Profile. And it runs a used, um, about $45, and it's by Gotex. And I would definitely wear this as a swimsuit cover-up. I just think it's a lot cuter on than it looked when you when you hold it up. So. <laughs> okay, I got to show you these uh, these fitness pants. They're from a brand called Elite, and they're new with tags. And I want to show you how high rise they are. Very high rise, and I'm assuming that you can turn the waistband down, right? But I love this dip dye thing going on here. And I'll definitely wear them. I have discovered that when I uh, when I do my workouts, that if I if I wear actual workout clothes, I really have a better workout. It's like, I don't know, it's a dressing for the occasion. And so, so I'm always like on the lookout now for Stuff and besides that, I have a closet full of workout clothes. I might as well wear them, right? <laughs> so the top here is um, made well, and uh, this is a super lightweight, soft cotton. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of things with these pants, which are from Modern Ambition, and I think they're just sold online. Um, they're they're. Uh, uh, not expensive. They were, uh, where did they go? About $41. And uh, they have some pleats here in the front and a cropped hemline. And then this shirt is a linen blend, cold shoulder top, and this is from Athleta. And uh, I just like this whole sporty vibe thing going on here. I mean, I could work out in all of this very easily. Um, so I'm gonna show you this with uh, another couple of shirts. So here we go. Need I say more? Come as you are. We had this as our, um, oh, our tagline at our church a few years ago. And, um, because we wanted to um, express that everybody is welcome uh, there, uh, no matter what your gender pronoun might be. 
<laughs> uh, so this is just so cute. And then, um, I mean, I like this statement. I'll wear this around, okay? I love this shirt. I absolutely love it. I love the color. Uh, it's from Free People Movement. And here's this cutout back. And it has just sort of this weathered ribbed finish. And this is just a great looking shirt it's from Caslon. And uh, just kind of a dressed up t-shirt, which I really like. I think I can see myself wearing this this summer. It's kind of a cap sleeve. And speaking of which, this is another uh, kind of uh, short sleeve top. I'm gonna shake it out. <laughs> this is from J. Crew, and it's very, very soft. It's a modal uh, blend, I believe, of some sort. Let's see what it says: viscose and nylon. And uh, this top is from Athleta also, and it's uh, just a yoga top, just like this, and it has shirred sides <clears throat> and um, some rubberized elastic at the hemline so it stays put down around the hem. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got to tell you, I love this skirt. This is by Rosé Nichols. And um, I would have put it on, but I really couldn't find the right shirt to put on with it because I just think it needs just the, the perfect shirt and shoes, blazer maybe. Um, this, this piece right here is supposed to sit in the middle and it looks good like that. But it's awfully awesome too um, with the, the um, piece to the side. And it's silk, and I couldn't find any comps for it, but uh, this brand runs pretty pricey. Um, a couple more things left, and then that's it, folks. I love this t-shirt. This is from uh, We the Free, Free People, and I wish you could feel um, how soft and drapey it is. It's just, it's an oversized piece and it is just so luxurious feeling. Um, I couldn't really find comps on it because it's really kind of hard when you're trying to compare fabrications um, online. So I would have been really happy had these been in my size, as does their size 26, which I don't think that's going to happen. But these are from Vince, and they're a high-rise um, cropped leg with a bit of a um, a bit of a taper. You can see what the seam does there at the end. And these had a, a $275 original price tag. So they're pretty awesome. I would truly like these in my size. Anyway, 28s, 29s, or 30s. <laughs> um, it was a good day also for, uh, I got a pair of icebreaker leggings and a pair of um, um, smart wool leggings here. So I'll put those away. And this is just awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I couldn't really find comps for it, but it's uh, an extra large Yoshi Yamamoto Y3. Can you see that there? Track jacket. Now, obviously it's way too big for me, but pretty awesome piece. 
Um, so I know that there is some, uh, this is their uh, collaboration with Adidas and uh, the pieces run between $250 and $500. So this has got a double set of zippers on the side and it's navy blue and it has this mesh lining inside so you stay comfortable. Um, Okay, now this is one of three blouses that I got, and this is from J. Crew, and I think this is from J. Crew Factory, um, but it's a uh, silk, pale gray, and I just love this this ruffle here. Um, I'm not sure I ran a comp for it. Anyway, I'm, I don't think it was all that expensive, um, but I like the cut of it. I like that it isn't really big and oversized, and, um, and I like the, the ruffle detail here. And I got, uh, this one is from Mac Studio. And I got it because I don't seem to have very many pieces that are in this color and um, I thought it would come in kind of handy. So this is um, a halter top and it has this really sweet tie in the back that hangs down the back. And then last is this. I knew looking right at it that it was from Bowdoin and uh, I love this print. Kind of needs an iron. Um, but their pieces are classic. Their prints are just always stand out. I like that this is kind of a retro sort of uh, take on a 50s, 60s print, only prettier. <laughs> so that's it. I guess I didn't come across my, uh, um, my, my, uh, Sales receipt. Ooh, yes, this is it. Yes, it was the one that was in the in the to me bag, and so um, everything here came to sixty three dollars. And I will say that the to me bag is pretty heavy, and so is the shower curtain. <laughs> oh, and I also got um, um, some yoga pillows too. Uh, that are really awesome and they're already they've already been put into use <laughs> that's what was so heavy on all of this um, my textiles came to $41 so Goodwill Outlet bin Seattle we have another winner thanks you guys for hanging with me check out my other videos we'll see you soon